like this that just inspire my painting. Woke up this morning with the sunrise in my eyes. I'm so excited to use my new French box easel. Fingers crossed it's going to be like having a new, whole new studio open up to me. The great outdoors. I don't know how, don't know why, but I'll, I'll be toasting all my life. Good morning. So it's about 7.30 here this morning and there's not a breath of wind. It's absolutely glorious out here. And today we're going to up anchor and continue heading north. We're going to aim for the Keppel Island group. So, ah. Oh, I've been thinking about the Keppels for months and months. We've heard that they're really beautiful and they've got great beaches. So my hope is to be able to go ashore and do some painting on the beaches. I just love this scenery so much. Check it out behind me. It's so beautiful. There's rain showers over behind me as well. Or in front of me, I should say. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Silence is good. You can hear the angel whisper song. Look at these beautiful, I don't know if it's a headland or if it's islands up there, but wow, what a glorious morning. Yes, this is my daydream when you're home and inside this home. For me, it's scenes like this, whether it's light reflecting on water or it's light dancing through mist on a foggy morning. It's scenes like this that just inspire my paintings so, so much. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> You know, knowing what inspires you is such a key component to creative living and feeling in flow and feeling the pull to go and pick up your materials and do those things that you love because, you know, inspiration, it is part of it and it's an important part to take quite seriously, I believe, in being able to feel like your life is full of meaning and it's fulfilling and and what inspires you might look different to what inspires other people. The key is to embrace those things that really inspire you. Look at that for a scene. Goodness me, look at the rain clouds coming over. <laughs> it's amazing. and porpoises just never ever gets old. It's always a delight, every single time. Lacey thinks so too. <laughs> Got dolphin look out. Good. All good. Got our lovely 
lovely wet weather gear on. Coming in out of the rain, are you least? Okay. Coming in out of the rain. Oh, the captain of the boat is. Yeah, captain of the boat is the dog. <laughs> ashore and have an explore. See if we can find any beaches that will be good for painting on. of wind today so we've just been motoring our way over to Great Keppel which is now just right in front of us and there's Humpy Island next to that too where my friend Naomi likes to go camping and it's really beautiful around here again the landscape is just stunning see why Naomi loves to go camping there. It's beautiful. Her own little beach. Looks like you could go snorkeling in the bay here. I think we might try that a bit later on. Maybe put the wetsuits on because it's a little bit cold. <laughs> what a cool place. We're all anchored and look at the color of this water, hey babe? Magnificent. It's absolutely beautiful. It said in the Ellen Lucas guide that the water would clear up once we got through the narrows and it's really gorgeous. It's turquoise and so inviting. Time to go for a swim I think. Safer. Yeah. That was good, wasn't it, Lacey? Does that mean is she allowed on this island? I think it's a national park. Oh right. So this is going to be the first time, my inaugural time of using my new French box easel. I'm gonna take it over on the beach and give it a little spin, see how it performs out in the wild. But I have to set it up, so I'm just using some paper towel to line the drawer to try and keep things neat and tidy and protect it from any oil spills because I'm going to be putting my oil paints in here. And then it's a matter of choosing my favourite colours because I want to have just a limited palette so it doesn't get too heavy um, to go to shore with. And I'm going to try and stick to using my little smaller tubes rather than big, bigger, heavier ones to try and save on weight. It's a hard decision. A little bit of indigo will be good. Some turquoise pathello from Langbridge, some zinc white, some paints grey, and brushes, nice wide flat ones, and some narrower flat ones. I mostly paint predominantly with flat brushes these days, and my palette knife. I like using these disposable palettes, so I'll just sit that on top. And that actually locks this little drawer, so that is secure in there now. Good, so 
always handy. Containers, one for solvent and one for medium. I'm very excited. And one more rag. Rags are always useful. Okay. It's going to be like having a new, whole new studio open up to me. The great outdoors. I can't wait. I can see some good spots for painting. There's a little tree over there that's got some shade. I might give that a go. When you come back again, if you could bring the solvent, please, over. So that'll give me half an hour and I'll come back over. That's all good, there's no hurry. I've got some um, rags here and plenty of brushes, so that'll be fine. And um, yeah, don't forget the water too, please. Over. That's stay green now. Short party out. After living on board Daydream for a little over two years now and not having a lot of space to paint with oil paints, it feels amazing to be able to paint on the beach. The French box easel was a huge hit and I'll definitely be using it more and more as we sail up the coast. I didn't even get any sand on my painting and there was only the odd bug that flew and got stuck on the surface. As always, thanks so very much for watching and I hope you have a really beautiful day ahead.